Uh, from you actually, you might know some uh, from uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. So one of the fastest fintech hubs in the United States. Uh, and if you don't know, also the home of three of the five uh, most important banks in the United States. So we have a lot of expertise in fintech uh, banking and payments in general. So I'm here uh, together with George, who's our smart contract developer. Uh, we also had uh, support from uh, two people uh, outside, Jeff, who's a consultant who's been working with the Canadian Central, Central Bank uh, on the definition of CBDC and our idea is to support us uh, remotely from India. So why are we here? Well, uh, we are specifically focused on smart contract programming, programming using DAO, digital asset model, which, which is a functional programming language. Uh, invented six years ago by digital assets and has been, uh, been used in a number of uh, high profile uh, capital markets uh, participants like the Australian Stock Exchange, NASDAQ, Deutsche Börse, and Goldman Sachs. Uh, also, digital assets uh, has been contributing to a number of very important CBDC projects. So, we have been selected partner for digital EN implementation, are currently implementing a solution for Brazilian. Uh, Central Bank and been selected as one of the platform providers for digital dollars. So, um, kind of a, a really good uh, uh, opportunity for us to come and learn and participate uh, on this particular challenge here in the UK. So, we're using Dabble. Most people probably don't know what Dabble is. And Dabble is a functional programming language that actually sits on top of uh, a, a ledger stack. And that could be a variety of different DLTs. Fabric, Corda, um, Mizu, or it can be used as a as a, as a, as a uh, database. And um, it's also one of those programming languages that's very efficient. So we're not here going to take the prize for the most lines of code. We actually are very confident that we win the prize for the least line of codes because we can do programming very efficiently. We can do that in the UC. A little bit of our our code here is that we can define a data model, we can define an authorization level, and we can define APIs in very simple language. And, and this is really the strength of this technology smart contract layer on top of uh, uh, different uh, opportunities in the CBDC space. So next slide. So what do we do for this hackathon? So we wanted to build uh, a quick interface between our smart contract layer, uh, which we posted on, on an open, open, open platform called Dabble Hub, uh, where we have access to uh, our ledger server, uh, we would build our smart contracts and we would deploy our smart contracts, and then we need to connect to the Hackathon API environment. For this, we built a, an API gateway interface, but keep in mind that the, everything is defined in our smart contracts. And so, what we, what we develop is a secure interface between our smart contract layers, interfacing with the API layer, and all the way back. So, next slide. Here's an example of how we uh, executed one of those challenges. Uh, a challenge about depositing a specific uh, payment or uh, amount at a bank account. We started at the uh, uh, smart contract layer, created an API message that is inter interpreted by an API gateway that's the sole authorized person to actually read the API message that does the translation, executes it on the the uh, Barclays API environment, and then makes all the way back. And so that's when we create a complete atomic transaction for our smart contract layer with proof that actually the, 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 the deposit has been confirmed at the CBDC layer. Next slide. Uh, one of the things we bring from this challenge here specifically forward is that we focus a lot on our data model. So one of the things we want to contribute here from this hackathon is actually open source our demo a model that's been used for this specific hackathon, and I wanted to also kind of give a little bit of insights of what the potential stretch opportunities are in the future. One is about multi-ledger technology. We can use smart contracts and them to actually collaborate with some of the other ledger uh, platforms that are being discussed over here, and we also kind of have done some specific work, work around data privacy and security and transaction autonomy. Next slide. So what are our final thoughts? Uh, one of the key things that jumped out from kind of the information that we gathered from this particular UK initiative is that poor CBDC is likely not going to be a DLT or a blockchain. So we completely agree with that. I think 
the ledger, uh, the blockchain technology is going to be a layer on top of the CBDC. Uh, we think it's very important that there's strong security and authorization models that comes in here and about the platform that we already use. So we strongly implement that. Uh, we want to make sure that there's uh, end-to-end transaction finality. So trying to avoid any duplication of transactions between the ledger and CBDC. We encourage worldwide collaboration. That's why we're here. We want to share some of our thoughts and, and bring some of these ideas back to the United States. And if you think about going, going to the next step, there's actually already a very elaborate open source model for CBDC transactions uh, that's been provided by, by now. So we propose and we will encourage others to work with us on iterating through that model that's being used at a couple of these worldwide initiatives and see if we can break it, see if we can enhance it, see if we can make it stronger, more flexible, more secure, and with a lot of privacy. Thank you for your attention. Oh.